Welcome to the Xenix Hospital in-service tutorial video series. This series provides detailed information about the Xenix Monitor Defibrillator and its functionality. These videos serve as an adjunct to formal training. Please take time to read the Operator's Guide, available online at zoll.com. Obtain formal training from an appropriate authority before using Xenix for patient care. In this video, we provide a basic overview of the Xenix Monitor Defibrillator, its connection ports, and the features on the display screen. Xenix is equipped with a variety of patient monitoring options. On the left side are three Z-Link ports that provide proprietary connections for invasive pressure cables, temperature cables, or the AccuVent interface cable. There is also a blood pressure connection a pulse oximeter connection, and an ECG cable connection. On the right side are three additional Z-Link ports that provide proprietary connections for invasive pressure cables, temperature cables, or the AccuVent interface cable. There's also a multifunction cable port. Xenix features a video out port as well as USB-A and C ports, an ECG output port, and a CO2 port. Located at the back are the printer, the SurePower 4 battery and compartment, and the auxiliary power port. Xenix features a thermal printer that uses fanfold paper. To change the paper from the front of the device, open the printer door by pushing the door latch away from the device. Open a new pack of paper and discard cardboard. Hold the pack of paper with the corner fold facing you and the black arrow pointing up. Lift the corner fold to expose a pink grid. Slide the pack of paper into the tray with the black arrow pointing up and the pink grid facing you. Pull one or two squares of paper out of the top of the printer. Ensure that the paper is aligned between two silver teeth on either side of the paper tray. Close the printer door. To change the paper while standing behind the device, open the printer door by pulling the door latch toward the back of the device. Open a new pack of paper and discard cardboard. Hold the pack of paper with the corner fold facing you and the black arrow pointing up. Lift the corner fold to expose the pink grid. Turn the paper so that the pink grid faces away from you. Slide the pack of paper into the tray with the black arrow pointing up and the pink grid facing away from you. Pull one or two squares of paper out of the top of the printer. Ensure that the paper is aligned between two silver teeth on either side of the paper tray. Close the printer door. Xenix uses one SurePower 4 battery. To remove the battery, push the gray tab and pull. To reinsert the battery, ensure that the battery is lined up so it will slide into the battery well and click into place. For more information on the LED lights and other specifications, please refer to the SurePower 4 Battery Operator's Guide. The auxiliary power port can be used to charge the battery that is installed or to power Xenix when it is plugged into a power source. Xenix uses either a touchscreen interface or a rotary dial for input. Access device functions by selecting the appropriate key or window. A green power button is located on the upper left side. Press it to turn the device on. Press and hold the button to turn the device off. Two LED indicators are located next to the power button. The LED indicator on the left shows that the Xenix is plugged into auxiliary power. The LED indicator on the right shows battery status. Green indicates that the battery is fully charged. Amber indicates that the battery is charging. When the LED indicator alternates from amber to green, the battery is missing or has a fault, such as not being fully seated in the battery well. On the top of Xenix are three LED indicators. Starting from the left, they are green, yellow, and red. Green indicates data transmission. 
The yellow and red LEDs are visual alarm indicators and are accompanied by both audible alerts and messages on the Xenix screen. Yellow indicates a medium priority technical alert. Visible in situations such as a disconnected ECG lead or when the printer has run out of paper. Red indicates a high priority patient alarm that requires immediate attention, such as low blood pressure or a life threatening arrhythmia. On the top of Xenix, you will also find a screen lock button as well as the device handle. Pressing the screen lock button locks the touchscreen, displaying a red border around the screen and a lock symbol at the top. With the screen locked, Navigation must be performed using the rotary dial. The Xenix Ready for Use indicator shows the device's status. A green check indicates Xenix is operating correctly. A red X indicates that the device may not be ready for therapeutic use. Do not use or place Xenix in service if the Ready for Use indicator displays a red X, unless during a code. On the right side of the device is the gray charge button, which charges the defibrillator. Above the charge button is the orange shock button, which will illuminate when the device is ready to deliver a shock. On startup, Xenix performs a power-on self-test and briefly displays the results on the screen. In the event of a self-test failure, the results remain on the screen. Providers can review and acknowledge the results and print a self-test report. The status bar shows the date, time, case time, shock count, Wi-Fi status, and battery level. The navigation bar shows three device modes, AED, manual, and pacer. Xenix will default to either AED or manual mode based on configuration. The patient type key displays the patient mode in use, adult, pediatric, or neonate. When patient type is changed, alarm limits, target inflation pressure of the blood pressure system, and initial defibrillation energy settings are automatically set for the patient type selected. The alarm key enables or disables patient alarms or can be used to make alarm setting changes. You can display up to four color waveforms on Xenix. The first waveform at the top of the display window is always an ECG waveform. Numeric data can be displayed for the following parameters heart rate, SpO2, ETCO2, breath rate, and blood pressure. The action bar contains operator keys to access Xenix functions. You may see keys for menu, NIBP cuff, marker, print, snapshot, 12 lead, sync, and analyze. The action bar also displays the current energy selection. The menu key displays the general, device, and panels options. Information about technical alerts is available through the Technical Alerts Information Messages key. Select View to open. The NIBP cuff key starts and stops blood pressure readings. Press it once to initiate a blood pressure measurement. Press it again after measurement is initiated if you want to cancel it. The marker key accesses a list of 20 pre-configured treatment markers. 10 are displayed on the first screen. Touch the arrow right key to access the remaining treatment markers. The print key starts a printout of the current waveform data on the screen. Press the key once to start printing and press a second time to stop it. The snapshot key captures 24 seconds of waveform data with a printout. The 24 seconds include 12 seconds before the key is pushed and 12 seconds after.
The Sync, Analyze, and Energy Select keys are discussed in other modules. We have now completed the basic device overview of the Xenix Monitor Defibrillator.